First, the dunes sagebrush lizard, now it's the lesser prairie chicken that's being considered for placement onto the threatened list. The potential has area ranchers, farmers, and the energy companies feeling quite threatened themselves. It once existed in abounding numbers, thriving in the grasslands of the central and southern plains, but today, according to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the bird's range of grasslands and prairies has been reduced by 84 percent. That's the reason for the potential inclusion, inclusion rather, on the threatened list. Should the lesser prairie chicken be deemed threatened, the repercussions could ring far and wide for the wind farms, the oil and gas drilling, and agriculture. Tonight, Lubbock hosting the third of four public hearings where Fish and Wildlife explains its position, and those who cry foul get their say as well. Eddie McBride with the Chamber of Commerce is at the hearing. We spoke with him earlier in the day about the recommendation to extend the public comment period and evaluation process. Tonight, folks need to get out and, and be very familiar with the process because it will, if this threatened species uh, action does occur, it's going to impact West Texas. It's going to impact energy. It's going to impact uh, farmers and ranchers. And, and when, whenever you impact them and it impacts jobs, then obviously it could be a negative uh, actions that happen in West Texas. The service's goal here is obviously to work with the landowners and industry to make sure that we can still maintain those um, those industries and that stakeholder has, still have a working landscape at the same time um, protect the species. So that's our goal here. And our goal is to go to Joe Miller. She has been hearing all evening what these people have to say, taking temperatures of all sides of the debate. She joins us from the Civic Center where it has just wrapped. Bailey Joe, what happened out there? Well, we had approximately 250 people show up for tonight's hearing, with about 60 signed up to comment. Representatives from the City of Lubbock, the Farm Bureau, and Congressman Randy Nagabauer, Mike Conaway, and Mac Thornberry were all present, not to mention farmers and ranchers from all over West Texas. And a noticeable theme among comments was the request to extend the listing. I don't believe that they have enough science to put this bird on the endangered species list, list number one. So they're going to have to come up with some sound science. We need to all work together among ag groups, farmers, ranchers, everyone that has a stake in this. We need to work together to come to a plan. We don't need a regulation. We just want to work together to come to, come to a plan to do this and, and use some experts to, to help encourage us and to tell us some, some things that we might be, be doing to help increase the habitat. Now, the Fish and Wildlife Service is going to head to Roswell tomorrow for the final hearing, but written comments will be accepted until about March 11th. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you very much, Bailey Joe. It's a hair-raising...